Veterinary nurse Sarah Van Herp says the sick albatross was discovered earlier this month at Moore Point, weak, underweight and with a serious eye injury. Now it's very feisty, eating a lot of salmon, enjoying time on our saltwater pool and uh, ready to go. The albatross's eye globe was punctured, so it had to be removed to save the bird from further pain and give it a chance to survive. But can a one-eyed albatross live successfully in the wild? There are reports of one-eyed albatross around, uh, hunting, foraging, breeding, so we hope that uh, this albatross is going to have the same success. The albatross was ferried out of the harbour aboard the police maritime unit vessel Lady Elizabeth IV. The plan was to take it to a place where other albatross live. So we're moving at about uh, 20 knots and we will be heading around 5 nautical miles uh, off Wellington coast to an area called the Trench. That's where other albatross tend to live and habitat hunt for fish and that's where this albatross will be released the one-eyed albatross Stu Main is a senior launch master on the Lady Elizabeth and normally he is rescuing boaties in trouble and keeping a watchful eye on commercial and recreational fishing operations today along with zoo staff he helped set the albatross free from the back of an IRB utility boat on the back of the Lady Elizabeth it wasn't phased by the out of the ordinary task. It's the first time we've done something like this, but one thing um, in the police is you never know what you're going to get each day you arrive at work. <laughs> There's always some um, situation or some incident or some dealings that you have that's different to the day before, so um, it's a great work environment. So we're now launching the IRB into the ocean with the two zoo staff, the vet, and the vet nurse, and the albatross is about to be released. Here we can see the large beak of the albatross just being held by the vet nurse. The albatross is in the water. Anna Karina Gonzali Argandona is a veterinary surgeon at Wellington Zoo. She's unsure where the albatross might go now that it's free. Hopefully it should be going back to the area where he came from. It's hard to assess because like, he had no banding or anything like that for us to be able to pinpoint exactly what area um, he comes from. Uh, but these guys will spend a lot of time in, uh, out at sea, so it's like sometimes they can fly for days, so it's not much of a problem. He just finds his bearings and then decides if he wants to go back home. Fifteen minutes later, the albatross spread its huge wings and began walking on water before taking off into the sky with the classic grace of a Concorde. For Checkpoint, Nick Butcher.